good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Saturday, September 16th. Got a warm and dry weekend ahead with afternoon highs in the 70s and 80s each day, but we're keeping an eye on next week as we have a return to cooler and unsettled weather. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points for to focus on today, high pressure will be in control through the weekend. What that means is beautiful weather, some cooler mornings, obviously in some of our lower elevations in the 30s, uh, but certainly afternoon 70s and 80s across the board. We'll see a mostly dry cold front work through the area on Monday. That's going to lead to some isolated afternoon mountain showers and thunderstorms, a little uptick in winds, and those will continue again through Tuesday ahead of our more pronounced system that's going to be arriving for that Wednesday, Thursday time frame. And again, that active weather pattern is going to return midweek. We're going to see more widespread precipitation chances, colder temperatures, and afternoon highs back in the 50s and 60s as soon as Thursday. Satellite for you this morning, there is not a soul to talk about in the entire western United States outside of some clouds off the coast. Water satellite for you this morning. So high pressure in control. I got a weak area of low pressure off the coast of California. That's helping to help those clouds and whatnot. Very dense marine fog layer as you head off the coast. But beyond that, keep an eye on these exiting systems up in the northwest of our area. So main story at least will be this couple of systems in the Gulf of Alaska. These will be continuing to work east over the coming days. You can see that cold frontal boundary still a ways away, but that will be working into our area for Monday. Or keep an eye on the second one here. So this one will at least prime the environment for this secondary one to hopefully swing through our area potentially for the middle part of next week bringing some cooler temperatures, chances for rain, and high elevation snow. Weather of Scott for your next five days will keep things dry, nice and calm weather conditions through the weekend. With Monday, just a slight chance for some showers and storms as we get some increasing winds. But beyond that, nothing too strong for this time of year. We're keeping that expanding for Tuesday and then for Wednesday, especially later in part of the Wednesday into Thursday is when that system is expected to work into our area, leading to some better precipitation chances. Take a look at those weekend high temperatures across the board. Start off the mornings in the 30s and 40s, warmest areas in the 50s. But beyond that, we're going to see afternoon highs each day in the 70s to mid 80s, pushing about 90 degrees on Sunday, especially in the Magic Valley and Treasure Valley. Let's look at those high temperatures and wingos for your Monday. So slightly cooler on Monday from what we're going to see on Sunday, but overall still hanging out in the 70s and 80s across the board with wingos about 20 to 30 miles an hour, a little bit stronger as you head up into Limhi and Custer counties. And high temperatures and wind gusts for your Tuesday. So we're starting to see again those chances. Got some zonal flow behind that moderate cold front that'll begin to work through. At least a little bit of breezy winds. But afternoon highs, we'll see a noticeable drop. More 60s and 70s coverage now for your Tuesday. With gusts still staying elevated in that 20 to 35 mile an hour range. High temperatures and wind gusts for your Wednesday. So again, slightly cooler. Keeping that cooling trend going into the middle part of the week. Afternoon highs Wednesday now in the 50s, 60s, and low 70s. With gusts tipping up that 20 to 30 mile an hour range. And here's that system. So we're going to have more precipitation working in for the Thursday time frame. So that's a system works out of British Columbia, seeing that right over the Pacific Northwest. Best chances for precipitation will be around that Thursday, Friday time frame. And as a result, we'll see widespread cloud cover in place. And with that, limiting a bit of that thunderstorm potential, but certainly helping to knock those temperatures down. We're seeing afternoon highs now in the 50s and 60s, but we may be pushing in the 40s, especially as you head up into the higher elevations of central Idaho. And here's a look at the preliminary rainfall, QPF totals, as well as snow. So across the board, looking at a, white, a lot widespread light impacts, especially across the Snake Plain, with more moderate as you head further north and east. But beyond that, especially when it comes to snow. So generally, best chances are going to be up above 7,000 feet. So we're looking at the central mountains with some potentially extra higher totals, especially as you get up above 8,000, 9,000 feet and the highest elevations of the central mountains. But beyond that, further south and east, just keeping an eye on some high elevation snow, particularly on the ridge tops and mountain tops. Uh, but beyond that, there is a chance for some of our lower elevations. Those are Island Park, Teton Valley, out towards Stanley, especially Galena, up towards Ketchum as well. Could see their first snowfall of the season, especially heading into that Thursday, Friday time frame as snow levels during the overnight hours fall to around 6,000 to 7,000 feet. Climb Prediction Center outlook. So this keeps us going. we got six to 10 day, at least heading into the above normal favored category for precipitation across much of the Northwest United States. And 6 to 10 day, we're talking about those colder temperatures. You can see that reflected well here in the probability of below. Still seeing that below normal favored conditions heading into the 21st through the 25th. 8 to 14, not a whole lot of change there. We're still seeing above normal favored precipitation the 23rd through the 29th. And 8 to 14, 10 temperature. Not seeing a whole lot of change there. It looks like we'd be ending the month on a cooler note following a little bit of a warmer month in the early part of the week. That's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome Saturday.